Hello. Hi. Is it the cocoa? It is the cocoa. Swipe. <laughs> you smack me. What up, though? Welcome to Hey by Design, YouTube channel. We explore what is design, who are designers, who is it for, and who needs it most. And this is Tip Minute Tuesday. And today's Tip Minute Tuesday is about how to win in 10. This is going to become a series. We know that we've added my daughter, Avi, and her tips that seem to have been helping you guys. Thanks for the feedback. We're going to start doing WNI. WN10. That's to break down a philosophy I gave you guys a year ago and to help you really dig into it now. And it's going to be a two part 10 episode series. So, over I guess uh, the next 10, 10 to 20 weeks, we're going to dive in to these practices from how to win the morning, how to win the day, how to win the week, and then the month. So, officially happy new year happy 20 hype teen happy 20 light teen i've developed these hashtags to kind of help encourage us and keep our mind in the space of growth and being great in our achievements and our process of being successful what 20 light teen is really saying is touching on what i just said as far as happy new year it's a new year i'm gonna really focus on you but not in the sense that everybody else says everybody else is pretty much going to say yeah it's a new year a new me or when i say happy you you're like yeah it's about me quite the contrary the idea of happy you year in 2019 is saying that you produce the light that you see that the world needs meaning if you are the light you are giving if you are the flame if you're a fire if you're producing energy your output is greater than your take from the world so happy new year is saying you dictate the amount of light that comes out and you dictate the light that the world gets from what you omit that's going to lead us into first things first how to win the morning how to create the light that your entire day needs by setting the tone of your morning so the you and 20 light team or the you and happy new year is not selfish it's servient you have to set the tone by serving yourself. There's 10 steps into how to win the morning. And the first thing is not touching your cell phone. The reason we don't wanna to touch the cell phone, that's for 30 minutes before we, when we wake up. 30 minutes is great, but really it's the entirety of until you finish the 10 things. So until you finish the 10 things, you shouldn't be touching your cell phone at all. Touching your cell phone puts you your mind in a space of receiving, taking, and doing things that's outside of you. You've just waken up, you haven't started your day yet, and the first thing you're doing is to go to check what the world is doing. What can you get from it? What do you think you missed out on? And really coming out of that state of peace, rest, and exploration, we need to transition slowly into creating the atmosphere that we want, and that requires us to become present with self. So a lot of people usually have them right next to their bed. They use it as an alarm. Well, there's an easy fix for that. Get an actual alarm clock. Or even if you don't want to go that far, put your phone on the other side of the room where you physically have to get up and turn it off. But after you turn that off, don't touch it again. Roll into the next set of things that you'll do. And we'll get into that later. Crossing the street. Tip minute Saturday. <laughs> tip. Hey, I'm out. There we go. Ooh, we're coming into the sun. Papa gonna get a Jeep like that. City Hall, please. Library, Farmer's Market, Park. Uh oh, signs? You're eating a sign? Yeah. Signs help me get whatever I need to go. It's good to have words is because you 
be light and also it's wide enough so you can see everything that's not just you and it, you can see more and it's lighter so instead of dark you can have light. Light. There. So someone might use a mobile lens and a light. Why is it important? People that will use it is people that take photos. AKA in the dark, definitely use it. And if you're trying to do, do YouTube videos, this is Lodi by design, Lodi by design, Adar by design, Avi by design, Dodi by design. So, short recap. One of the first steps in achieving all our goals this year and being ag aggressively successful is winning the morning by following a few steps, winning the day by following a few steps, and that first process is not the outside world and setting the tone for our reality first and committing to that process every day. What that looks like and what that means for us is dictating the type of light that we're going to produce and committing to the idea of servitude in the sense of this year being our year to give. So yeah, it is a new year, new you. It's a new you in servitude. It's a new you in brightness. When light is bright, it's able to spread further. You turn up the, 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 the tone, you turn up the temperature of light and it has a farther reach. It has a farther throw. How far is your throw of servitude of love? that fair exchange of energy. I want to remind you that you as a being are extremely powerful. Your energy and your power is of abundance and you have a load of it and you don't have to take in more than what you give out. You can actually give more than what you take in. And uh, I think Abby's tip for the week matched that perfectly. Even though she was speaking about a mobile lens and light setup for vlogging, we need a clear lens. We need a clear vision to see sharply, clearly. And she's mentioned the wideness of the lens so you can see more than what's just you. She amazes me daily. You need a wider lens so you can see more than just what's about you. And you need a light so you can see in the dark and brighten up the darkness so you can give more. When you bring more light into a space, you bring more light to others. So I think the call to action this week is, in what ways do you bring light? And did this tip help for you? If it did, please share it on Instagram. Tag me on Instagram if this helped you out at all in a story or a post, and I'll repost it and share it. It's looking about that time, and I'd like to thank you for yours. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. When you share something, you get to learn it twice. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to stay up to date with contests, prizes, and new videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I talk to everyone there. I love communicating with people through Instagram because what Instagram is doing is making it a lot easier to talk to people and businesses. You can stay in the Instagram universe and handle pretty much everything. Twitter is where I rant about design with other designers and I pretty much complain about everything under the sun. Design is a basic human need and a human right. As always, define, design, repeat. Go follow Decoy, that's Detroit conglomerate of YouTubers. Uh, you know what time it is. When you see them in the street, you say what up, though. They're going to put you up on game. Daff.